guys Victor here today we are starting out by planer fishing so we just went out of Hillsborough Inlet Florida and what we're targeting is kingfish first fish of the day on the planer we just went through a bunch of seaweed and I saw the planer trip and uh, I looked back in the whitewash and there's something skipping on top and that's the thing is when you're dealing with a lot of seaweed on days where you're trolling planers it's a little tricky might be a, a little king so when you get to the planer what we do is we'll hand line it the rest of the way Little barracuda. Little barracuda ate our strip. That's one of the things that you'll catch while playing or fishing too. So we're gonna unhook this guy and set him free. Be free, little buddy. See him? What you got? We got the very first dolphin on the planer. We came out to this blue water because it was really, really green on the inside and uh, I was rigging up another rod and I just noticed that this thing was skipping on top. A little schooly dolphin. There we go. Nice! The baby cow dolphin. Wanna yeah, we got to measure it real quick. They got to be 20 inches to the fourth. Oh, he's, he's legal. He's like 23 and a half? Yep. Known around the world as Dorado, Mahi Mahi, um, or dolphin. Three different names. One of the just most pretty fish we have. All lit up. Look at that. Blue, green. It doesn't get better than that. We got some really big ones in the Bahamas. The ones that they make down by us in Hillsboro a little bit smaller. Not as big as the Bahamas ones, but still cool. Alright guys, we are done planer fishing. The planer bite wasn't too hot for us. There's a ton of seaweed out here. Just rolled up trying to catch some ballot here. We already got five dozen. Ryan's got two good throws on his hands. And there's a third. First two throws should have been on camera. Good enough. Yeah, but I got twice that many last throw. So what I do is when we put them in the live well, we break the bills because Ballyhoo are a, uh, a bait that is very space oriented. If there's too much crowding in the well, they will start to die. And when they can't turn because they have too long of a bill, they start to die even more. So that's why we break the bills off before you put them in the well. And also try not to put too many in. You know, we'll put two, three dozen in and about 40 gallons, and then we'll put the rest in for dead baits and uh, for, for chum. We're gonna try to get a bunch of value hoop, cut them up into little chunks, try to get the mutton. Back a so this is our bait of choice right here. We got ballyhoo. You guys have seen us catch these in the past. You guys always hear me talking about current. Current is crucial offshore. When you got good moving current, your chum works effectively. You're pulling all the ballyhoo and fish off of the reef. They come really close to your boat and forces them to be close to your boat because they're swimming against the current and they're trying to eat the chunks that are on top right there. Another one? Yeah. yeah. Another one. Come in, come in. We found him. He might not be legal. Yeah, he looks He's 17. He's not legal, but we've 17. Look at how fast. We've been doing this for what? Three minutes. We that's just the, hit anchor. That's the third one. Caught two and missed one. Yeah. Well, he's, he'll be undersized, but he was 16 inches. Oh, he oh, went man. straight down. Straight, straight down. down yeah. This ain't a mutton. No? No, look at that. Mutt, muttons don't do that. No, you don't have a mutton. Nope. No. I don't know. You got something good. Look at the head shake on that thing. Stand up, man. Come back here and stand. I'm fine. Who sits down and fights fish? I do. I'm coming. All right, help me out, Victor. Well, it's not a shark. It's a jack. Jack Carvel, maybe? We put up a nice sporting fight, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at the size of that thing. That's a good one. Oh, did you unhook it? They're cool fish. Yeah, it's unhooked. It's unhooked? Yeah. Yep. Cool fish. My biggest fighters. Jack Ravel. Let him, let him go. He fought good. All right, we wanna, you won't want to hear the grunt. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Put oh. up a good fight. All right, ready for the release? Lives to fight again. Head down. Something. Really? Yep. 
Oh, monster! Look at that red grouper, that's why. This guy's gotta be a lot bigger to keep. This little red grouper, they gotta be 20 inches. He's uh not quite there yet. Here you go. Since we got so much bait, cut up a bunch of ballyhoo. Gonna just spread it around, throw like an umbrella. A little bit here, a little bit there. Try to attract whatever's in the area, because we're on the sand. Floor leader and... On video. I'm gonna go crazy goosebumps. I saw it. It hit the water. Jeez. It hit the water. Oh, yeah, oh. It's a good one, isn't it? Uh huh. Oh, you just a hand line. King, 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 king. Is it? Gap, 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 gap. Oh, yeah, it is, it is, it is. Gap, 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 gap. Look at him. There we go. Awesome, bro. Nice king. See the circle hook still in his mouth? He cut me off right as he got in the boat. Something. Well, you're on. Yeah. Look Baby, that. that's why. When they're this small, they don't really pull a lot. And sometimes you don't even know they're on there. Amazing. We went from catching muttons this big in the Keys to these guys being the average. We didn't catch a lot of small muttons in the Keys. It's a whole different world between home and the Keys. Alright, alright. Got something that ran. I know, Vic. Oh, yeah, we got it. Think it's gonna be a mine? I think so. And you really, really gotta horse them off the bottom because they will go for any structure they can find rocks, ledges, uh, coral heads. This one feels good. It's a nice mutton, nice mutton, nice mutton, nice mutton. It's a good one, it's a good one. That's what you want. Oh boy, oh boy. Get him in. I got him. There we go, that's a good one. That's the wise one. See, that's a there keys one go. right there. That's exactly what I caught him on right here. A little ballyhoo plug, a secret bait. You know, when you hook them, when you hook them that size and up, you know you got a good one because they'll actually pull. <laughs> I gotta admit. Brooke, when me and Brian first got here, we were both bummed out because we weren't getting hits right away because yesterday we got hits right away. This spot, it took a while because you got to think, you know, you lose a few, you, you're constantly chunking, you're constantly cutting up your bait. So there's just a bunch of bait behind your boat. You're chunking the whole time and fish attract other fish. When you catch one, they're curious, you know, especially from a family of divers, you see it. When something's going on on the reef, fish just come around, they're move, they're curious. Is that circle hook? It's a 5-0 must add circle hook right in the corner. Let's get another one. Cool. Let's try the old butterfly bally hoop. See if this guy gives it a go. Can you try that old bug? Oh, oh that was a bug. There we go. That one? Yeah. What well, it feels decent. And they all seem to be running towards that left because that's where that reef is. I'm trying to run towards the reef. Thank you. A mutton. Yeah. Yep. Nice one too. Yep. Keeper. Oh, oh yeah. Another Absolutely. keeper. Go. There we go. Nice Good. Let Rodney do all the work on that one. Left it in the rod holder. Look at the ballyhoo just sticking out of his mouth. Isn't that cool? There we go. Let's see if it'll pop out. Ah, <laughs> just like that. Circle hook. Look at that hook set. Right in the top. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna measure him just in case, but we know that he's gonna be legal. He is 19. 19. Oh my god. Is it a bonita? It's a baby bonita that's working you, Vic. Oh, come on. Whoa. This 
these fish change species a lot. Oh, monster. World's biggest yellowtail I thought I had on with this thing. <laughs> Seriously. We have a problem where there's too many snapper under the boat. There's so many yellowtail. I gotta put something really firm, so I took the bonita belly, and they have a kind of a hard time tearing through this, where they can tear through a ballyhoo or something else. They can't really tear through this. Uh, here's the mutton. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The belly of uh, the bonita. Nice. I don't think it's very big, but it's a mutton. Oh, I think it just pulled. Really? Yeah. No, you got it. Oh, Rook. I caught a yellowtail. Really? Oh, yeah. Keeper yellowtail. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, he's a fatty. He's probably been eating our chum. The big mangrove would be better. There you go. Quality size yellowtail. Come back here at night and actually chum on the sand. The yellowtails have taken over. I'm gonna drop down this nice little strip of ballyhoo on a jig head. Let's see if I can't catch a yellowtail or a monkey. We're gonna have our, pretty soon we're gonna have our limited yellowtails on the boat. This guy just changed colors so much. They go from being really yellow and white to this pink, red. Seriously, one of the prettiest fish. And that signature yellow stripe down them. So cool looking. Right up and down. On the bottom? Yeah, on the bottom. You got no jig heads on the boat and you weren't expecting to fish for yellowtails, you gotta improvise a little, you know? Made a little knocker rig. Oh yeah. Come here. Yellow fellow! They're all 12 to 14 inches, yeah. except for the occasional one we got. Brian got a nice 17 inch and I probably got like a 15. That's about it. All right, we need one more yellowtail to get our limit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dead. Last one. Why is that good? All right, guys, we are done fishing. We got our limit of snapper, and like I said, we kept, you can only keep five months per person, and you can keep 10 yellowtail per person, but your aggregate limit, which is how many you can keep total per person, is only 10, so. You can't keep 10 muttons, you can only keep five, and you can only keep a combination. So if you get five muttons, you can only keep five yellowtails. So we got our limit for three people. Beautiful cooler full of snapper, Brooks Kingfish, uh, a porgy right there. We're gonna be eating good. <laughs> We've eaten so much fish and it's just gonna continue to go on. I, I mean, you can't complain. This is what Florida's all about. This is what first seafood's all about. And we just had an amazing time on the water. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys do me a big favor, Brooke has a YouTube channel as well. Please check it out. It's gonna be in the description box below. She does a lot of the similar stuff that I do, catching cook, check, catching cooks. She dives a lot, so check her out. And I'll be seeing all you guys on my land sharks in that next video. Do you feel the